Gun violence in America. How can the music industry help? Let's start with the stats. But before we begin, I want to issue a trigger warning. Gun violence is not the easiest topic to discuss, and we want to acknowledge that and say thank you for joining us to have this uncomfortable conversation anyway. In 2020, gun deaths reached their highest level in at least 40 years, hitting 45,222 deaths. In 2021, the number went up again based on data from the CDC, hitting 49,000 deaths. In 2020, there were 24,576 homicides. And in 2020, there were 19,384 firearm homicides. Each day on average, 30 Black Americans are killed by guns and more than 110 experience non-fatal injuries. At least every other day, a Black person is shot and killed by the police. 52% of all gun homicides in the U.S. were Black men in 2020, despite only making up 6% of the population. Gun homicide has a disproportionate impact on underserved communities of color in American cities. Roughly half of all gun homicides take place in just 127 cities, comprising less than a quarter of the total U.S. population. Gun violence is the leading cause of death for Black males under the age of 55 and the second leading cause of death for Hispanic males under the age of 35. Young Black males ages 15 to 24 are 22 times more likely to be murdered by a firearm than their white counterparts. Here are murder rates in 65 major U.S. cities for 2019. So what can the music industry do to help? Here's a quote from Billboard. Since 2017, R&B and hip hop has been the dominant music genre on the United States Billboard charts, becoming bigger than pop and rock and coming to define modern popular music. And its reign hasn't let up since, with new smashes and superstars created every year. Many record labels, publishing companies, and DSPs do business with Black hip-hop artists who become global superstars by making music about the underserved communities they come from. These artists express their experience on a spectrum. Some glorify it, and some tell how they overcame it. Black people have made music about our pain since the very beginning of this industry. It's always been our way out. And considering the amount of money generated each year from music about the Black experience, created by Black artists, reinvesting in the communities these artists represent is extremely important. Here's a quote from Music Business Worldwide from 2021. In terms of audio streams, R&B and hip hop claimed 30.7% of all on-demand plays. And across audio and video streams combined, R&B and hip hop claimed 31.1%. The Educational Fund to Stop Gun Violence says the root causes of gun violence include income inequality, poverty, underfunded public housing, under-resourced public services, underperforming schools, lack of opportunity and perception of hopelessness, easy access to firearms by high-risk people. Nationwide, majority of non-white school districts get $23 billion less in funding every year than majority white districts, despite having the same number of students. Save the Music Foundation reports. Looking at the music education funding landscape 25 years later, we can see that music education budget cuts disproportionately impact school districts that serve students of color, immigrant students, and low-income communities. They went on to say, according to the most recent federal data, a majority of students in the U.S. have access to music education as part of their school day. The approximately 7,000 schools without music programs are predominantly in school districts that serve Black, immigrant, and low-income student populations. What can the music industry do? Fund community-ran organizations and outreach programs in all of the most underserved cities in the country. Help get music programs back into the 7,000 schools in the U.S. where it's missing. Stop promoting music that promotes gun violence and criminal activity. Record labels invest in security for all of the artists you sign who become famous. Artists stop wearing so much jewelry when out in public without security. 
record labels and publishing companies invest in financial literacy for your artists. Here's a Wikipedia list of the most notable rappers and hip hop musicians who've been murdered. Gun violence in the Black community is clearly a socioeconomic issue. The community is underfunded, undersupported, and underserved. Hip hop is the most influential genre of music in this country, and we think it's time the music industry supports the communities hip hop comes from. 